Hey, I'm back. It's been a million and a half years since I filmed a YouTube video, so I figured what better night than tonight? Since my last YouTube video, I've um, landed on a couple PR lists, which is awesome. And also I was on a no buy for the longest time. And then I switched to a low buy. So I did get some new things as well as I was sent some new things. So I figured why not? Let's do a first impressions kind of makeup look. If that is something you're interested in, and if you want to see what I've got, uh, keep watching. All right, so let's see what new stuff I have here. Um, I got a sample of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I actually got two samples from Sephora, and I liked it so much that I bought the full size. So I'm just finishing up the sample, the second sample that I have here. Um, that's what I'm gonna start off with. I'm just putting like this much on the back of my hand. Oh shit, I don't know if you can see that. And then I actually um, tap it into my face. I don't really rub it because it's like a gel consistency. So I feel like if I tap it onto my skin, it holds that tackiness that I need to adhere the foundation to my skin. Plus it feels kind of nice to tap your skin. It's like a facial. And the cool thing about bangs is that uh, you really don't have to put anything on your forehead. If you want to be lazy, get bangs. Which actually isn't true because then you have to maintain them looking nice. Don't get bangs. Let me suffer for you. Let's see what's new in my life. You guys don't already know if you follow me on Instagram. Well, I bleached my brows a month ago. Uh, if you can't tell, they're kind of salt and pepper right now. But I bleached them a month ago because I was doing like a 1920s um, high fashion look, uh, kind of like the Pat McGrath, John Galliano look. So I did that and I was going to do like brow coverage, like with the glue and everything, but I didn't feel like it. So in an effort to be less lazy, I just bleached. It's, ugh, I, I don't know. They look fine now that they're growing in, but that's also another hassle you have to worry about when you bleach your brows. A nightmare. Sometimes you accidentally leave the house to go grocery shopping and you don't know why people are kind of looking at you funny. Like at first you're like, ah, no, nobody cares. Nobody's looking at your face. And then you check out and you're having a conversation with the checkout lady and she's like constantly looking a quarter of an inch above eye contact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've done that quite a few times. So, uh... I thought this bottle would be bigger, me being ambitious, like I'm like, oh, I need more of it. So I only apply like a dime size amount and if I need more, then I use more. And I actually use my fingers. I used to use like a brush, which I mean, I still do sometimes, but I like to use my fingers so that I'm getting it right onto my skin and not wasting any product. Your girl is trying to be frugal. I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip. You take something like this and you apply it directly to your skin. Bacteria is going to stay on the tip here. Yes, your own bacteria will come back and haunt you. And uh, the next time you open this, like two days from now or a month from now, if you have 20 different foundations like I do, um, you'll end up breaking out. And I don't know, maybe it'll make your foundation gross too. You don't want bacteria in your foundation. That's how things get gross. That's why we can't have nice things. Cause you applied it directly to your skin. It's all your fault. Also, um, my skin is on the drier side. I'm not as oily as I once was. So I use a lot of um, face mists and stuff. I also use um, nice hydrating primers like this. I like the Too Faced Coconut Primer. I use that. Yeah, and then I mostly just use like face mist. Oh, I use my Kiehl's, I have a Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. Hold on, here it is. I use this with my matte um, foundation, so I didn't wanna like 
I can't return them, I've had them forever, with my matte foundations so that I'm actually getting mileage out of them still, even though I have drier skin, I will mix them with a little bit of face oil. Just make sure you use a nice light oil so that you're not like breaking apart your foundation and mix it really well with the foundation before applying it. Like with my Fenty foundation, sometimes with this Milk Blur makeup foundation, I have like a Maybelline Super Stay that's like really matte. I will cut that with this. Becca Full Coverage Complexion, cut that with this. Uh, you can use also like good carrier oils, like sweet almond oil, avocado oil, just a couple drops is all you need and it'll transform most matte foundations into like a dewy dream. And then if you wanna set your more oily areas, like your under eyes or like your nose, you can totally put a little bit of powder on top of that. But if you want to transform your um, matte foundations into a more dewier finish, just cut it with a little bit of oil. Don't throw out your foundation. Don't yell at the Sephora employee that you're trying to return a two-year-old foundation to. Just take my advice, okay? I'm an expert. Trust that I know what I'm talking about. Then I'm actually going to take one of my sprays, my Pixi Vitamin Wake Up Mist. Oops. Oh my god. That is so good. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which is my favorite concealer at the moment. My shade is Almond. I apply this directly to my skin, but I have a pet peeve about makeup artists. Makeup artists who didn't go to school and work on clients and they apply this directly to someone's face. You might be looking at the screen and saying, what? Who would do that? People, people do that. Maybe they just didn't know. Send them this video. Share to save a life, you know? So now that we have concealer down, so you might be wondering, is she so dry that she needs to apply a uh, face mist between every step of her base makeup? And the answer to that question is yes. Yes, I am a sponge, a dry sponge. With that being said, I think this is one of the most important tools of the trade to make sure that you have a well hydrated base. I notice that my base lasts longer uh, throughout the day because I have kept the layers in between super hydrated and everything sort of like blends together nicely and things aren't really sitting on top of each other and being too dry. If you are oily, I do not see a problem with making sure that your face is still hydrated. Just because you're oily doesn't mean you don't need moisture. Uh, but I'm not an esthetician, so you can uh, look that up yourself. Just uh, my two cents. Okay, so now I'm going to set my under eyes. I don't always have to, but I'm gonna. So my favorite thing right now is this uh, Besame, Besame, translucent brightening violet powder. First of all, let's talk about this super cute vintage packaging, because that's kind of what Besame is all about. They're like very vintage, and I love it. So this was gifted to me. It has a little puff. I don't use the puff, so I'm just gonna take my little brush and I'm just gonna press this in, kind of like you would with a beauty blender. I'm not sweeping it back and forth. I'm just pressing it in gently. And then once I feel like I have enough product, I'll kind of let it bake for a second and then I will wipe it away. And now is the time I would go into an area that you feel like is gonna get a little oily. Hang on, my cat is chewing on cardboard and she needs to stop. So now I'm going to do brows. My brow routine has changed a little bit since I bleached them. Um, so they require a little bit more work. Not a lot, but I can't just leave the house with brow gel anymore. Um, let's see, so I have the Lancome clear brow gel. It's my favorite clear brow gel. I'm just gonna brush that through. Brush the hairs up, but I'm not trying to go for like a super bushy brow. I'm just trying to tame them. So those are right where I want them. And then I'm taking one of my new products that I picked up at Ulta. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. It's um, my favorite and I can't put it down. Also, I apologize if I'm looking like at the camera and then I'm looking slightly left of the camera because I have like a little monitor now. It's like part of the camera. 
I upgraded to a camera that has the little thingy that flips out so now I can see myself so I'm used to like looking at a screen like when I'm talking on my phone or doing an Instagram live and then not looking at a void looking into the void that's what I feel like I'm doing when I look at the camera I'm just looking into a soulless plastic void so what I'm basically trying to say is I'm gonna do my best to look at you and not worry about this black hole that is the camera lens Anyway, back to the brow blade. For the price of one brow product, you get two. So this has a waterproof. This is what happens when I look into the void, guys. One side is a brow pencil, which honestly, I thought I was never going to use it, but it's really nice and creamy. It's great. I love it. The other side is this. This little magical how the hell did a piece of fuzz get on this? This little magical thing uh, is incredible for brow stuff. Let me show you. I'm a lefty, so this is kind of awkward. Uh, these are like the little hair-like strokes that you can make with the ink stain side, and then this is the brow pencil side. And honestly, they both come in handy, but I did only buy it for the ink stain side. <laughs> I find myself using both, especially since I bleached my brows. I feel like I'm using both a lot more often. So now I'm going to just do hair like strokes and try to fill in these salt and pepper brows I got going on here. So then I have my disposable mascara wand that I use to brush everything through, kind of nice. Smooth everything out, no harsh lines. And that's just to give my brows a little bit more definition than they had before because these babies are so blonde. Then I go into the ink stain side and I like this mostly for the front of my brow and for the tail. So I kind of anchor my pinky to my nose. Uh, I feel like it's really important for like hand stability to rely on your pinky. If you ever thought your pinky was useless, it's not anymore. I just gave it purpose. Besides pinky swearing, purpose. And I just feel like you have way more control over your hair like strokes when you anchor your pinky to things. And then I just move it through, trying to catch the little blonde hairs that I might have missed. And then when I get to the tail, I kind of do hair like strokes to a point. Rude. And then I might define up here. I say might as if I'm not doing it right now. Basically the ink stain is like the cleanup crew. Nine times out of 10, I don't need concealer, like if you can tell. So again with the pinky. I'm pretty good with that. So moving right along, I'm actually going to prep my lips right now because um, they're really dry. Uh, Bite sent me over their Agave Plus collection, a weekly lip scrub. Excuse how like dirty it is. It's, I'm trash. Uh, this is their weekly lip scrub. This is their uh, nighttime lip therapy, which like if you could bottle silk and butter and like angel's wings and put it on your lips, this is that. Uh, so I did wanna scrub my lips really quick uh, because they're super dry and then moisturize them so that by the time we're done with this look, my lips are super ready for anything I wanna put on it. This is also the first lip scrub I've ever used where it comes with a little scooper. So uh, I can go right into here and I don't have to get my fingers dirty even though I'm about to anyway, but it's just more sanitary. Mm -hmm. It um, tastes incredible. Okay, so that was the lip scrub, and normally I would use the lip balm, but my lips were kind of a mess, so I'm actually gonna use the nighttime lip therapy. You're supposed to use it overnight. I'm gonna use it right now. As you can see, I've already used it quite a bit. And this also has the cute little applicator thing, which is great. So you're not digging your fingers, your dirty mitts into your lip products. It feels so good. 
So let's finish off our base. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. This is in the shade Tawny. I think that's one of the lightest shades it comes in. Tapping that in. I don't need to warm up the face too much. Just a little bit. I've been big on blush lately, so I've been doing less contour and bronzer and more just blush and highlight. I think that's kind of trendy right now. A little bit on the nose, a little bit on the chin. Let's be honest here with ourselves and just slightly down here. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this um, Besame Cream Rouge. Again, with the vintage packaging, this is so cute. So this is like a little tin. You open it and the product is in here. It's so cute. So this color is called Apricot and this is the Cream Rouge. I like cream blushes. I don't necessarily have a problem with regular powder blushes, but cream just gives this nice like flush, youthful look to the face. So I prefer it. I use it on clients. I use it on me. Cream all the way. I like the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. I like the Besame Cream Blushes. I like the Milk uh, Lip and Cheek. I also like the ColourPop Super Shock uh, blushes. Those are great. I just use like a stippling brush so that they don't get too dry. I think that's what I'm gonna use now. And then I just get in there. You only need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. I start by dotting and then I'll kind of lightly brush it in. Try not to get mad at your brush for shedding because you love it so much, but you hate how it sheds. And I'm just building that up because I really like the peachiness of this. So I want that to stand out and be bold. A little bit on the tip of the nose, a little bit on the chin. Now, highlight. The highlight I can't stop using, and I think this is true for most people, is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. It's amazing. So just high points of the face. You know the drill. It's just a, a thing people know now. Another cream or gel highlight that I picked up is the Too Faced You're So Jelly. I'm gonna apply it on top of my Amrezi highlight. Oh yes, okay. I'm here for it. I'm present and accounted for. I wasn't trying to go highlighter heavy, but now I am. And now I can move on to eyes. So um, I did pick up a couple palettes and a couple were sent to me. Um, one of the ones that was sent to me, it wasn't like a PR thing. It was just sent to me by my good friend, Millie. Uh, she's bad to the brow here on YouTube and on Instagram and on Twitter and I love her. So shout out to her because she was an angel and she sent me this, uh, palette by Blush Tribe. It's called the Hasina 2. So I'm going to swatch a couple of these colors just so that you can see ah, how nice they are. Excuse me? Yeah, these are great. These are great. I love it already. I've done a couple looks and I kind of want to mess with some of the colors I haven't touched yet. I totally started applying eyeshadow without a base, which I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine, but I don't. So uh, I'm using this Pluise. It's P. Louise, but I like the way Sam says Pluise. I'm gonna take this flat brush right here. I have a little bit of this base. Picking it up, laying it down. And I pat it on. A little goes a long way. I feel like this spreads really nicely. You can sort of diffuse the edges a little bit, but it's not so uh, intense. All right, so now that that's laid down, I'm gonna go in with this color Iris, which is right here. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm patting the product on, and then I will blend the edges. I just wanna get this on while the base is nice and tacky. This is such a pretty color, gosh. I am bringing it up a little bit higher than my crease because I'm gonna blend that out and diffuse it. I'm not wiping, I'm just patting. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'll take my big old blending brush, the Smith that I had, with a little bit of product on it, and I'll diffuse those edges.
I am going to take a crease brush. Let's see, this is the MAC 221, which is my favorite crease brush. And I'm gonna go in with this deep purple color. It's called Movan. I'm just packing a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. This is dark, but I'm just gonna go for it. Because I live life on the wild side, clearly. Also, I kind of want a dramatic crease here. And then going back in with a slightly fluffier brush, bigger and fluffier, Morphe M573. I'm gonna go back in with Iris, which was that lighter lavender shade. Next step, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a little bit of mascara. My favorite mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. It's waterproof and it's like the only waterproof mascara that holds a curl. So let me just curl my lashes. And this is the Shiseido uh, Lash Curler. It's my favorite one. I've had it for a year now, I think. Maybe longer. Time flies when you're having fun, am I right? Am I right? I'm gonna use Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. What a difference. So I'm not doing lashes. I am, I'm not like an always lashes kind of gal. I appreciate them and I think they serve a purpose, but it's not like an all the time need. So lower lash line, I'm actually going to go in with the darker, I don't know, should I do like blue? Either the blue or the green. I think I'm gonna do the blue, keep it kind of pastel. I'm gonna take this blue, the color is called Anika, Anika, Anika. And I'm just looking for a more flat, fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this little Dose of Colors dual-sided brush that came in one of the palettes. And this is that powder blue right along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the little crease brush that I used before and blend that up. And there was a little bit of product left on the brush and that's fine because I feel like it brings the look together. And then for my inner corner, I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm gonna use this color Monique right there. Oh, that's so pretty. Bring that down a little bit and up a little bit, sort of like a C shape. So that's it for the palette. Um, I am going to tie this look together with a little bit of purple mascara. I picked up Purple Pros from ColourPop. It's like a lavender, super pretty, just for the lower lash line. Don't get it in your hair, don't get your hair in it. You know, basic rules. So I kind of wanted to finish up the eyes with a little bit of liner. So I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color Out of the Blue. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender, pull down my lid. This is such a creamy liner, I love it. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. And I'm gonna do this again. Now let's move on to lips. So I got a couple new lip products in the mail. Uh, one of them is from Bite. So Bite sent me their road trip collection. It's uh, an extension of their Muse Bouge line, but it is limited edition. And it's eight cities currently, and here are the colors. Cute, 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 cute. I'm gonna use one of these lippies. <laughs> I don't know which one. So they, there's Miami, Atlanta, Chicago, New York, Dallas, San Francisco, Toronto, and Los Angeles. <sighs> I love Bites packaging. So this is Atlanta. Oh, how cute. Look, they put the little peach and my lips are super nice and hydrated. So nice. So I just cleaned up the edges a little bit um, with the concealer brush that I used before and I sort of like smoothed out the edges when I had the lipstick on with my favorite lip brush, my Smith 302. You just do a little hair fluff. Fix my Lloyd Christmas. 
Okay, so I was getting ready to be like, this look is finished, yay, thanks for watching. And then I realized that maybe I want to put lashes on. Who even am I? I'm gonna use my House of Lashes Iconic Light. Right here. Get my tweezers ready. Now, I already trimmed these to fit my eye the last time I used them. These are not like fresh out of the box. Pop them on my face. I don't have magical model eyes. Then, before everything dries, I'm going to stamp that down. I have my, this is my Tarte Lash Applicator. I apply with tweezers, but I like squeeze with the Tarte one. I know it looks terrifying, but I assure you it's fine. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, I learned something. If you have any questions or if you guys want me to try out any of the other products that I might have talked about, let me know in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. My handle is at beautybean with an I and if you're not already subscribed and this is kind of your thing, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you on the next video. Say bye Pete!